Find a nice comfortable position. You can get out any last fidgeting, any last movement. And if you're in a space where you can close your eyes, where that's comfortable for you, I invite you to do so now. Starting to settle back into stillness. doing a short body scan on your own. So noticing with curiosity, openness, not changing, not pushing away, not judging the face, the jaw, the shoulders. The arms. Noticing the feet, the legs, the entire body here in this space, this present moment. Bringing awareness to the breath. Feeling each inhale and each exhale as it enters and leaves the body. In the spirit of non-striving, letting the breath be just as it is not changing, not regulating, not striving for it to be a certain way. Allowing yourself to be here with the experience of the breath as it is in this moment. And as you sit here with the breath, letting this experience be as it is, Imagining in your mind a lake, a body of water, big, small, a lake you've been to, or maybe one you imagine. Letting the image of this lake come into greater and greater focus. Deep, shallow, blue, green, muddy, clear. Really visualizing this lake. The trees, the rocks, the sky, the clouds. Noticing as wind comes, waves begin on the surface. causing the reflections on the surface of the lake to distort, disappear. Noticing sunlight sparkling in the ripples of the waves. And when night comes, the moon, reflecting on a still surface or glimmering in the waves. And as you rest here, breathing, visualizing the image of this lake, allow yourself to bring that essence of the lake into your body, into yourself. So imagining yourself as that lake. The same way the lake's water are held by the basin of the earth. Perhaps you yourself feel supported in this moment. Breathing as the lake feeling yourself embodying the principles, the attributes of that lake. Reflecting whatever comes near. Imagining yourself clear all the way to the bottom. Experiencing moments on the surface of complete stillness. And then other moments 
when the surface is choppy, disturbed. Noticing as you sit here, observing the different energies of your own mind, your own heart, fleeting thoughts, feelings, impulses, reactions, desires, expectations that come and go like ripples, waves, winds, storms. And perhaps you notice their effects on your own surface. Noticing the effect of thoughts and feelings. Typically, do your thoughts, your feelings disturb the surface? The clarity of the mind. Do they muddy the waters? Perhaps you imagine that it's possible to identify not only with the surface of the lake, but the entire body of water. So that you imagine yourself becoming the stillness below the surface as well. Even when the surface is choppy and ragged, a huge storm. The stillness below experiences only gentle movement. Perhaps continuing to imagine yourself as that deep surface or that deep water beneath the surface. Even as thoughts and emotions, content changes, the intensity of the thoughts, the feelings changes. You lie, you sit in the vast unwavering reservoir of awareness itself, residing below the surface of the murky, muddy mind. knowing that there is space there. There is space there. Perhaps sitting here for a moment, dwelling here, imagining yourself as the lake, Affirming our own ability to hold an awareness and acceptance, the qualities of our mind, our body, the physical sensations, the thoughts, the emotions as they shift. Just as the lake sits, supported by the earth beneath it, below the surface staying still even as chaos happens, on the surface of the lake and around it. Imagining yourself as that deep, dark space below the surface of the lake, riding the waves, not attempting to stop what's happening on the surface, accepting, moving through, waiting. And if this visualization, this image, this idea resonates with you, taking it with you. Knowing that when we practice open awareness and mindfulness, we see all that is. We acknowledge all that is. And we can access that deep, lower part of calm beneath the surface always there for us. With that in mind, 
knowing you can always return back to this place. Take a few more deep inhales and a few more deep exhales. Bringing movement into the fingers, the toes. Taking a few neck rolls, moving one direction, then the other. Doing whatever you need to do to wake the body back up. 